This week I modded my Wah Wah pedal. It's a Jimi Hendrix Wah by Dunlop and I added a pot so you can alter the cue of the Wah. The curve of the Wah is kind of shaped like this, the mid-range, and when you rock the pedal back and forth you can you move the shape of the cue along the, uh, the graph of the Wah. And now with this pot that I added you can um, set your cue at a different point when you start with your wah and then you can uh, when you rock the pedal back and forth um, the cue moves over the control uh, the sweep of the wah actually um, I'm gonna demo this uh, because uh, a friend of mine said uh, after I posted some of uh, the pictures when I modded it on Facebook he said well it looks cool but uh, you don't know anything without a sound video or a sound clip so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna be demoing this uh, into my Marshall class 5 uh, little plexi actually it's very very awesome into this cabinet with uh, Ian Eminence 12 inch uh, speakers and uh, we're gonna get some overdrive from the amp, but I also want to boost a little bit with this guy, the Electro Harmonic Soul Food, which is a clone of the Klon KTR. And it's really transparent and really good sounding for a very cheap price. So I'm gonna set this up and I'll see you in a few. And we're gonna rock this crybaby along with the Soul Food and the Marshall. Rock and roll. Well, we got this set up and ready to go. I'm playing my Sunburst. Uh, Les Paul with custom wound uh, humbucking pickups into the wall, into the soul food, into the amp. This is how the amp sounds without any pedals. <laughs> and this is with the wall. I have the uh, pot set all the way to the left, but just a little bit to the right again. So uh, clockwise, it's about between 8 and 9 o'clock <laughs> get like an Octavio effect with this and I'm gonna turn the pot uh, three quarters of the way And now the pot all the way to the right. Now we're going to give you a little bit of a sound difference between the sweep of the pot. I'm going to turn it all the way to the left, counterclockwise, and then I'm going to be playing my guitar, just strumming some strings, and then I'm going to gradually turn it all the way to the right. <laughs> You 
can hear there's a little, uh, well, little big difference in the top end. It gets very bitey when you turn the pot all the way to the right, and it gets really dark when you turn it off. So, um, but to me, the wall pedal has become more vocal since I did the mod. You get a much uh, longer sweep, almost kind of like a, a throat of, 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 a, of a person, you know, when you change the, the, the shape of the throat, you get another sound out of it. So I like it a little darker um, because I heard on a lot of uh, documentaries and I read on, uh, online a, a very big chance that Jimi Hendrix made his sound darker. I heard Eddie Kramer tell well, Roger Mayer came in and he, you know, he, he opened up the wall and took some resistors out and capacitors and transistors and so all stuff. I don't know if there are actually transistors in the wall. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there are transistors. But anyway, Hendrix's stuff was modded uh, massively by Roger Mayer. But we tend to uh, recreate the sound as best as I can, right? Well, I'm going to give you some sound samples with the Soul Food on, which is going to boost the wah signal into the amp. Uh, I have all the controls of the Soul Food set at 12 o'clock straight up. And uh, I'm going to set the wall, the cue where I like it, and then we'll jam a little bit. I want to thank you for watching another video of RV Music and more. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and take a look at my channel for others, other videos. Subscribe, give me the thumbs up, comment in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. And uh, most importantly, rock and roll and enjoy. Thank you for watching.
Thank <laughs> you. 